So we've got a seven iron here. We're going to hit a couple of shots with a seven iron. Again, we're going to stick to routine. So we've got our alignment sticks on the ground correct. Firstly at the target, this one here is parallel. You can get these alignment sticks at the PGA, any of the golf uh, pro shops in your club. So to stick to routine, we've aligned the club face, built our grip, stand shoulder width. Now we bring in the alignment, so the feet, knees, hips and shoulders. We're all parallel left to the target. This time the ball position is going to move a little bit more towards left of center. It's a seven iron, so between the inside of your left heel and the center of your stance. It's very important, right, for your ball position. Handle it slightly forward at the address position. And now from here again, we're going to turn into the backswing. We don't want to sway off the ball. Head is staying center. We're going to turn, stay nice and tight in your backswing. First move now is we're going to use the ground to drive. Shift that weight into that left foot, into your left toe. Keep getting the pressure onto that left side. The head of the club is going to catch up and you'll feel that it's passing out your belt buckle through impact. You release the club and onto the left side and into the finish. Very important to keep turning your chest and your sternum through the ball, but that club head is released past your buckle belt and into the finish. So as you can see there, that was a seven iron. Um, key, key points, ball came out extremely low due to the slope where it nearly came out like a five iron. Always lying with the slope, ball in the center stance, down the grip, and make sure that you follow the slope through impact. Never lean back and try and help the ball up. Okay.